How's it going? It's Mythos, and today we're doing a virtual tour of The Conjuring House. Let's be honest, this might be the only chance we'll get, even if you actually live there. After all the recent drama surrounding the place, who knows what the future holds. So, it was actually one of you who sent me this link ages ago, and I can't remember who, so apologies for that. I've just tried to look and I can't find you. But I've just found the link in my tabs again, and I was like, oh, I forgot about this. I had a quick look, but didn't really have a full look around the house so let's get looking and if you want to do this for yourself I'll leave the link in the description it might be a good idea to have a place sooner rather than later just in case this website gets taken down who knows these days also with this being a virtual tour it's free <laughs> so I can't imagine that they're going to like that are they even though this has been up for months and also if you've watched the side eye guys latest video on the conjuring house and his experience going there, you'll know how crazy the prices are and the details about going there. So if you haven't seen that, I will leave a link to that as well in the description because that is a must watch. It really gives you more of an insight into this conjuring house. Okay, so let's check out the virtual tour. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we are in. Now, this is presented by Blue Flash on a website called Matterport.com. So I wonder if there's any other places on the website. I'll have to check that out after. But look, we can just drag this around. And um, I first seen this on my iPad when someone sent me it. So you can use it on your phone or whatever as well, not just the PC like here. Also as well, yes, it can be viewed in VR as well down there. That is awesome. I've actually got those Ghost Tube uh, VR goggles for or a ghost tube seer so i might try this on there actually just for a bit of fun see what it's actually like actually pretending you're walking around there it might be pretty fun although how would you move around the place if the thing is strapped to your face i don't know i'll check that out after so where are we here we're in kind of the main room right um and you will have to forgive me because although i've watched many videos on this place i can't really remember whose bedroom is whose and stuff like that so i'm just gonna have a little wander around Oh, there's the upstairs to the attic, isn't it? Should we just go up there first? Let's go up there. Oh, creepy, creepy. Now, we've seen in one person's video, didn't we? This chair was rocking. And they didn't realise that their shadow was actually in the shot. And we seen them rocking the chair. <laughs> that was hilarious. Like why would you go there and fake evidence like that? If you go in there, you surely would want to capture real evidence. Someone's clothes. Sleeping bags and stuff. Now, whose room is this then? Because we see a lot of people in here, don't we? Boston Red Sox. What's that little thing? A little REM pod or something? So like I said, this uh, link was sent to me by someone pretty long ago, so I'm not even sure if this was before the new owner uh, or not. Uh, we'll have to wait till we get down in the basement because I think it was when Jacqueline took over, um, she added a, a little room down there, you know, blocked it off and added a door and stuff. I'm sure that's what the case was. Ah, and I never knew there was two entrances up here, I don't think. I don't remember that. Let's have a little wander. Oh, we can go in there as well. How cool is that? So this is the birthing room, isn't it? I mean, it looks like a, a pretty dodgy place to shove your wife in there to have a baby, right? And what's with the sand as well? We all remember when Amanda was wrote in that, didn't we? And then Amanda came along and claimed that the spirits were writing her name. Even though it was definitely just someone who wrote it. I mean, I would love to have believed a spirit wrote a name in the sand, but I just can't believe that, to be honest. Look at all these nails coming through. Bloody hell, when you're in there, you best watch your head. I haven't seen anyone mention that. Look at all them. Jesus. All right, I think we've seen all upstairs, haven't we? Can we open the cupboards? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, what's here? Where are we? Oh, a gym? 
I survived the conjuring house. Ha ha ha. Oh, it's like an actual little merch store. That's what Side Eye Guy was talking about, wasn't he? The big, scary conjuring house full of demons with a merch store. <laughs> that is quite funny. But if you want some Mythos merch, guys, like this little jacket here, all you need to do is head over to mythosparanormal.com. You can grab one of these if you want. You can grab t-shirts, hats, hoodies, jumpers, all sorts. Right, where are we now? Oh, everyone's signature's down here. So, I th oh, I've just seen Paranormal Quest there. I need to watch some more Paranormal Quest. Um, I've seen them with quite a few other channels. I think I've only really watched maybe two videos of theirs. Uh, I've been subscribed for ages, weirdly, but they just don't pop up in my feed. I never, ever see them pop up, but I do like them. Right, we want to get back out to the main room, don't we? Because I want to go down into the basement. Oh, there's the nun. Jesus. Imagine walking around there investigating on the night and you see that face. Oh, you would uh, get a good shock there. Right, so we're back in the main area, aren't we? This is so cool that you can do this. What is that? Oh, it's the Annabelle thing, isn't it? As a table. That's quite a cool idea, actually. I like that. I think it's stood up somewhere now, isn't it? But, um, you know, this place has got nothing to do with that, really. It's, that was just from somewhere else to do with the Warrens, wasn't it? So, is that the basement door? I can't think. We'll go there in a minute. I just want to have a quick look to make sure I've not missed anywhere before we go down there. The Conjuring House. Ouija board. And that's the thing. They don't want you to use Ouija boards, Side Eye Guy said, but look, a Ouija board artwork, Ouija board rug, Ouija boards up here. So why say to people, do not use one of them? <gasps> and then you've got them all bloody all over the place. Now we've seen this door open by itself a few times, haven't we? But I think someone debunked that as just a, a loose wobbly door. I think that's um I think that's everywhere, yeah, isn't it? So let's go and try and find the basement. It's got to be that door, right? It's got to be, I can't think. Ah, it is. Let's go down. Ooh. So yeah, now with the new owner, they have got from that wall, it blocked off. Just, I don't know what's going on behind there. Uh, well, what's down there on this view, just storage and stuff. I had multiple emails telling me that in this room like from here now i presume it's just a storage room but people were theorizing that that is the um you know kind of the room the control room where the flickering all the lights and knocking and stuff like that um you know and you can't imagine you know someone could be in a control room watching cameras and setting things off like that just like a hotel we know. But I don't know. People were just theorizing that. You know, if you're there and you can't go through the door, you can never prove anything, can you? What is in here? Is this the seance room? Pretty creepy. Look, a makeshift Ouija board. Okay. After this, I'm going to put the VR headset on. I can't uh, wait to try that out. It's going to be fun. Walking around the basement in VR. I mean, just when you're walking around, I say walking, we're virtually walking with the lights on and stuff. It's just a basement, isn't it? It's not really freaky or anything, but I can imagine when you're there, you might get a bit creeped out just because of the stories you've been told and things like that. What's in there? Ah, you can't see in. Try to actually look over the thing as if you could. <laughs> Oh, we're back to the other side of the stairs. Should we just go up? Oh, yes. This door. Is it this one with a latch on that keeps locking on people? Is it just a dodgy latch? Oh, I can't get out. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm virtually stuck. <laughs> the door's locked on me virtually. Oh, no. It even happens to you online. You get locked in the basement. Oh my god. Someone please help. Right, we'll have to find... Where's the other stairs? I'll have to go up this way. <laughs> oh no, I'm panicking. Oh, 
the demon's gonna get me. Oh well, there we go, guys. That was just a fun little tour. It's a cool place, isn't it? But the prices they are charging, especially now knowing more details after watching Side Eye Guy's video. <sighs> And the way she speaks to everybody, you know, go and check out those videos where I covered the statements from The Conjuring House, which you can see here and also here to see what I mean. After those, I am not sure I would even go there anymore. I am not sure. But if you want to check out that virtual tour, guys, don't forget to go down in the link while you maybe still can. It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Thank you for watching, guys. If you're still here, you're a legend. And I will see you in the next one.